Hello and welcome to a video on indices with fractional and decimal bases. Now just to recap from the previous video on indices, when we've got something like this, we've got 2 to the power of 4, this 2, this is called our base, 2 is called our base and then the 4 is called our index, 4 is called our index, well you may also hear it as a power, so an index or a power, and what does this actually mean? Well, we always start with 1, and then we're going to multiply that by 2. So we're going to multiply it by our base 4 times. So we're going to multiply it by 2 once, we're going to multiply by 2 again, we're going to multiply by 2 again, and we're going to multiply 2 again. So we've multiplied 1 by 2 4 times. Now, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So our answer is 16. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Now this 1 that I've got at the beginning of my 2s doesn't actually change the value of my answer because whenever I multiply anything by 1, well I just get my answer. So we don't need to include this 1 times at the beginning. So all we need is this 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now let's do an example where the base is a fraction. So this time let's say we've got 1 third and we're going to raise that to the power of 2 or we could say one third squared. Now how would we calculate this? Well the process is exactly the same as we've got here. We're going to multiply one third by itself two times. So it's going to be one third multiplied by one third. And how do we multiply fractions together? Well we can just multiply the numerators, one times one is one, and then multiply the denominators, three times three is nine. So a third squared is one ninth. Okay, let's do one more example, this time include a decimal. Let's say we've got 0 0.5 and we are going to cube that. So 0 0.5 cubed, what is that? So again, the process is exactly the same. So we're going to take 0 0.5 and we're going to multiply that by itself three times. So it's 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5. So how do we calculate this? Well, let's first of all focus on the first part. So a half times a half, well, that is one quarter, or we could say 0.25 if we're keeping everything as decimals. So 0.5 times 0.5 is 0.25. So we're going to multiply that by 0.5. So what is 0.25 times 0.5? Well, it's just half of 0.25. And half of 0.25 is 0.125, which is also 1.8. So this is our answer. Okay, so I've got five for you to have a go at. Pause the video and see if you can calculate these indices. Okay, so the first one, 7 tenths squared. Well, that is the same as 7 tenths multiplied by 7 tenths. And again, we can just multiply the numerators. 7 times 7 is 49 and 100 uh, so excuse me, 10 times 10 is 100. So our answer is 49 one hundredths. Okay, question two, 0 0.3 squared. Well, that is 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3. Well, three times three is nine, and I can see that there are two digits after the decimal, so I know that there's gonna be two digits after the decimal in my answer. That's 0 0.09. Okay, question three. 2 fifths cubed. So that's going to be 2 fifths multiplied by 2 fifths multiplied by 2 fifths. So let's do our numerator first. 2 times 2 times 2, well that gives us 8. And 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So our answer is 8 120 fifths. Okay, question 4, 3 tenths cubed. So that's going to be 3 tenths multiplied by 3 tenths, multiplied by 3 tenths. So 3 times 3 times 3, well that gives us 27. And 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. So it's 27 one-thousandths. And finally, our last one, 0 0.2 cubed. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2. So we've got, let's just do 2 times 2 times 2 first, which is 8, and I've got 3 digits after my decimal point in the question, so there are going to be 3 digits after the decimal point in my answer. So our answer is going to be 0 
zero eight one two three so how did you get on did you get them all right if not hopefully after i went through my workings you can spot where you went wrong in the next video i'm going to do something similar but this time we're going to have a look at negative bases i'll see you then